Hey guys, Jerry here. Hope you're having a great day. Um, so this week we're going to be talking about sugar because Halloween is uh, on the 31st, so it's you know just about a week away. So I figured, hey, what better time to talk about sugar than this week and hopefully scare you a little bit and give you some proper information so that you don't make the same mistake that I did when I was a teenager uh, looking forward to going out for Halloween and, and grabbing an entire garbage bag and not coming home until it was totally full with uh, candies and specifically chocolate bars and all sorts of other high sugar foods. So I don't want you to make the same mistake because what I, what I, what I would do with this garbage bag is I'd literally store it in my drawers in my bedroom for probably, I don't know, three to four months until all of it was gone. Uh, now needless to say, you probably know that the health issues that I uh, kind of went through when I was in my teens was largely related to the foods I was eating and specifically sugar. So uh, we're going to talk about sugar and in this video actually I'm going to I'm going to share some things about sugar this week that you may not have known before. So in this video we're going to kick it off by talking about how sugar negatively impacts your calcium balance and can lead to bone loss as well as many other calcium related conditions. So let me first start off by saying that when I talk about sugar, I'm talking about uh, high fructose corn syrup or sucrose. It's the same thing. It's the exact same molecular structure. One molecule of glucose, one molecule of sucrose. Okay. The only difference with high fructose corn syrup is that the ratio is about 42 to 55 as opposed to pure sucrose, which is 50-50. Okay. So very, 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 very minute difference, but physiologically, the way they're metabolized, the exact same thing. Now, the problem with with sugar, obviously you may know this, that um, recent research is showing that we're eating, uh, high fructose corn syrup specifically, we're eating about 63 pounds per year right now. Okay, that's crazy. And overall sugar is about 114 pounds per year of overall sugar. And that includes high fructose, high fructose corn syrup. Now, I don't know about you, but we're going to talk tomorrow about the impact on gaining weight and in terms of what sugar does to that, but I'm sure you can see that's a problem. So one of the big things that, one of the big problems with sugar, especially refined sugar, is that in the refining process, a lot of important minerals like chromium, manganese, cobalt, zinc, magnesium, they're all stripped away from the raw sugar. And that's a problem because those minerals, specifically chromium, is very important for sugar uptake and assimilation into your cells. Okay, so if those are missing, then your body's gonna have a problem with that. It's not gonna be able to uptake sugar as regular, uh, as as efficiently, and you're gonna end up having higher blood sugar levels. It's the same thing with you know the difference between eating white bread versus whole wheat bread. Whole wheat tends to have um, more of the fiber, more of the minerals intact because they have not been stripped out due to the refining process. Okay, not to say that you know either one is really good, but just to give you a bit of a difference there. So, how does sugar negatively impact calcium, and why does that matter? Well, here's the thing: um, in the body, it's you know we're looking at minerals, but mineral relationships more importantly. So it's not so important as to say, okay, how much calcium are you getting in your diet? But more important to think about what is the relationship between calcium and the other minerals that you're getting in your diet, okay, as an example. So specifically, I want to talk about the calcium and phosphorus relationship. It's a very important relationship, and I talk about this actually in my book, Eating for Energy, with regards to cow's milk and why it is so detrimental on your bones, uh, or in terms of bone health. And the reason for this is because... In this case, for instance, sugar, the, the normal ratio, the normal good ratio, ideal ratio of calcium to phosphorus is 2 to 1, or specifically about 2 to 2.5 to 1. So there should be 2.5 times more calcium than phosphorus in your body. Now that's essential in terms of building strong bones and teeth and, and so forth. Okay. Now, what sugar does is it upsets this balance. Okay? And the reason it upsets this balance is because studies have shown that when you ingest a lot of sugar, you, in, you increase the amount of calcium in your urine. So you're actually excreting more calcium out of your body. And there's a reason for that. The biggest reason is because your blood is becoming more acidic, calcium is used as a buffer, and the more acidic your body is, the more calcium you lose in your urine. Okay, So that's generally the relationship. 
Now, so if you're losing more calcium, that relationship, that ratio of calcium to phosphorus becomes a little bit um, a little bit out of whack, right? So when calcium decreases, phosphorus levels will increase. Now, you might say, well, if I'm losing calcium, the best thing to do would be to take a supplement, right? So you can take a supplement where you're going to get, you know, 1,000 milligrams or IUs or, or um, sorry, 1,000 units of, uh, of calcium a day. Well, that's not necessarily the way to go about it because if it's not balanced with phosphorus, and that's not even talking about magnesium because magnesium and calcium need to be balanced as well, right? Just calcium and phosphorus for a second. If that relationship's out of balance, we're going to have problems, okay, in terms of bone health and tooth or teeth health. Now, this was actually first discovered by a dentist, uh, Dr. Melvin Page, who, uh, when working with his patients, actually discovered that he was noticing they started to, to lose a lot of, um, or started to, to lose a lot of their, their uh, the density in their teeth. So he was noticing some bone loss because we do store calcium in our teeth as well as our bones, right? So he was noticing that they were starting to lose a lot of uh, uh, bone density in their teeth and in and around the... Uh, you know, the mouth area. So he was wondering, okay, well, what's going on here? So he tested their blood levels and he actually found that their calcium, the calcium levels in their blood was sufficiently high. It was sufficiently normal. Okay, what's going on then? Um, but he actually later ended up finding that because they had a high sugar diet, a lot of these people eat refined sugars of all sorts, then that uh, affected the phosphorus or calcium to phosphorus ratio, which later affected the amount of um, mineralization in their teeth, okay? So that's the same thing as uh, would lead to uh, to bone loss, okay? So this calcium to phosphorus ratio, if that's out of whack, calcium is going to be extruded from the bones because it's kind of buffing things off from the blood, and um, and then that, that, that's a big issue, okay? So that, that's really kind of the, uh, one of the founding fathers, if you want to call them that, of this whole topic. Uh, it's really important to understand, right? But most people don't consider you know, think about sugar as in, okay, well, sugar, blood sugar, whatever, issues with that. But this calcium issue is very, very important because calcium, not only is it important for our bones, okay, so, you know, we're talking about bones and teeth here. You know, if you, if you eat more sugar, you're basically going to be tearing apart your bones and teeth, which is not a good thing. Uh, the other thing is that calcium is actually the importance, it's the mineral that initiates muscle contraction. Okay? So if, if that balance is out of whack, then your muscles are not going to be able to contract properly and relax. So that's just an example of, of calcium. And we're just talking about calcium here. Okay? So that's not even to mention everything else, the other important minerals in the body. We're just talking about sugar's impact on calcium. Okay? So we'll stop it there for today. Tomorrow I'm going to be back. We're going to talk about sugar and specifically how it affects weight gain and obesity and the problems with that. All right, so have a great day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. And in the meantime, don't have any sugar. Okay, see you soon.